What's up everybody? My name is Steve and this is Tech Teardown. We're a brand new tech channel where we do tech reviews, PC building, and other types of tech and gaming content. And if that's what you look for on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss one of our uploads. Now today I got my best friend Morgan here and he is a audio producer, music producer, and musician. And uh, he wants to upgrade his computer for his home studio. Uh, home recording computer, is that right? Yep, that's right. And he knows how to build a computer, but he was an awesome friend and just basically is going to let me build it for a video. So uh, he's going to be behind the camera making sure I don't break his shit. Um, <laughs> but uh, Morgan, why don't you tell us a little bit about what this computer is going to be used for? Uh, basically, it's going to be used for uh, just home recording, um, a lot of guitar recording, uh, demos, making stuff like that. Uh, Main programs I'll be using is Free Loops and Reaper. Um, nothing crazy, but a lot of the plugins that I use are going to be very CPU heavy and RAM heavy. My old computer just couldn't handle it. So, all right. So what we went with because he has uh, it, those plugins are very RAM intensive. He went ahead and got uh, two 16 gig sticks of Crucial Ballistics. And these are 3000 megahertz speed. Uh, I'm gonna probably overclock this for him because it'll be better for the Ryzen CPU he has, which he does have the Ryzen 5 2600, which would be very nice. And we're gonna cool it here with the Hyper 212 Black Edition. Uh, so this could be really nice and it's gonna look good in our NZXT H500. He got the white version and it has the black interior. Uh, we're putting it in the B450 a motherboard from ASUS and he'll be able to if he wants to upgrade to the new Ryzen CPUs when they come out in June and he does do some gaming but he doesn't he's not as particular about the graphics as maybe I am or some of you are uh, so he just went ahead and he was a little practical about it. we got him the RX 580 the 8 gigabyte model from PowerColor and uh, his boot drive we're going to be using the Samsung 970 Evo Plus. And he also has a Seasonic 620 watt modular power supply. And this is a new one for the channel. We have a legitimate copy of Windows 10. I don't know who buys Windows 10 nowadays, but we got a real one now. All right, that's all that we have. Uh, do you have anything else to say before we start building? No, I'm excited to get started. All right, well, let's get building.
All right, guys, as you can see the benchmarks, the gaming looks really good on this computer. Uh, he upgraded from an i5-6500 with eight gigabytes of RAM and an R9-380. What do you think so far of the uh, upgrade on the gaming performance in this? Uh, it's been really great. Um, I'm not I'm not a huge huge gamer, so a lot of things don't really matter to me. But it just it ran every game so well, and frames were awesome, and just the performance was a lot better. That's awesome. Yeah, AMD is their processors are probably some of the best value for gaming right now, and that RX 580 same thing. You can get those for under $200 now and they're great 1080p graphics cards. Now, other things that AMD processors are good for is just work production with the six cores and 12 threads. How did that uh, help you with just making music now? Uh, it was great. Uh, like heavy loaded contact was loading ridiculously well. Um, samples were loading in there. Um, all the VSTs, instruments and effects just loaded so quickly and was just there it was, it was really great that's very good and did you, do you think the ram at all you went, upgraded from eight gigabytes of ram to 32 gigabytes <laughs> of ram yeah. uh 3000 megahertz speed do you think that's made any difference or uh, you, uh, yeah i think it definitely made a huge difference because it's just those plugins um virtual instruments that i use they just really perform and you can really get a lot higher quality out of them and they load so much quicker it's just really great all right. Yeah, and then one thing that surprised me is you upgraded to a white case. I when yes. I was recommending parts, I picked out the black case for you on the NZXT H500. What what made you choose white? Uh, everything I own is black. Uh, <laughs> even my socks are black. My shoes are black. Like I wear a lot of black. So it was just kind of something different to spruce up my room. Of here's a white case, and it's just something to look at. It catches your eye a little bit more, I think. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I think uh, this is overall value for this computer is excellent for gaming or workload. Uh, so I think this is a great option if you're trying to get into just building a gaming PC or if you're trying to just do what Morgan's doing and start your own audio recording studio at home. Uh, it seems like it's working out for you pretty well. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, also, one thing to note, the song playing during the benchmarks were, was written and recorded by Morgan himself. Uh, so if you like that song, give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Do you have anything else to say before we wrap up this video? No, I got nothing to say other than it's, just, it's been a great experience uh, using this machine because it just works so well. And I've been using it for probably the last, what, two weeks to try to really get it going and, and trying out the new software and get it. It's been great. Very good. All right, guys, so if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button and the bell. And we'll see you guys in the next video. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>